Alright, um, I'm going to demonstrate my uh, double exposure card. Um, it's very simple, uh, but, but effective. Um, all I've done is I've taken an image, um, exacto bladed out uh, the image part leaving the mask, and in place uh, I've taped in a piece of thick plastic and just taped it carefully as to not thicken the image too much so, it'll have, so that it would have trouble coming out. Um, and I find it works quite well. I'll show you how to do it. Um, so this one still isn't quite rigid enough without, without the actual um, emulsion thickness and everything in there. Uh, so you need a dark slide as of now to do this, which I'll put on top. Um, and this helps me just give it a little more strength on the way in. But I find that it's still, it's still quite easy to uh, finesse in there, even though it is a little bit thicker. Okay. So there it goes, dark slides on top. Um, once you get it in about this far, it's good to take it out because oftentimes the dark slide will get hung up. You can see how it's just a little bit over the edge. So you can just fit that back in there. And it shouldn't, it shouldn't cause a light leak if you, <laughs> if you do it properly. My dog is really excited about this. It um, goes back in, it'll eject the dark slide leaving your double exposure card underneath with your film underneath that. Um, so the next frame uh, should, it should eject our card. <laughs> Alright buddy. And uh, the next one will eject our image underneath which will have two exposures on it. Um, yeah, so a really simple idea. Um, I think if we were to manufacture this and produce it, we, we, could, we could easily sell it um, something of a higher quality that wouldn't require a dark slide to, to ease it in. Um, and uh, that's, that's it. That's the pitch. <laughs> Say goodbye, buddy. Say goodbye. All right.